Hello, everybody. I've immediately forgotten what button it was to make myself go live. I was too prepared. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Friday night live stream, Fishy Business on the Friday evening, where we can have all manner of conversation, jovial quizzes, games, discussions, rants, raves, and anything in between. Um, I'm prepared for once. I had the quiz questions finished by 6 o'clock this evening. Normally, the quiz questions get finished about 10 to 9. And then my PC decides it wants to have an upgrade or something like that. But, uh, touch wood, so far so good. Uh, I've even employed the backing light. <laughs> wow, who would have thunk it? Hope you're all well. I hope you're all ready for a, a Friday night of fun and frivolity. Uh, as Stuart says, I do like to make things a little more challenging for myself. Usually do a PC upgrade or something before we go live, but today's the day that we were in and ready. So, let's celebrate by kicking off with a Northern Monk Horde. If anyone from Northern Monk is watching, I'm still looking for that elusive beer sponsorship. If anyone from my chat is watching wants to email Northern Monk and remind them that I keep drinking their beer for free. <laughs> I, pay, I pay their money to drink their beer. Um, you know, a wee case wouldn't go amiss. Um, I can't remember if I've tried this one. We might need to fish out the spreadsheet later and see whether or not we've tried Horde before. But it claims to be a hazy IPA, which is one of my favourites. A juicy tropical hazy IPA, no no less. 7%. Oh, the quiz might get tetchy. Cheers, everyone. Happy weekend. Mm. Mm. Hope you're doing well. Um, Aquarium Daily, hello. Stuart, hello. We've already said hello. Tommy, Silver Creek's Wildlife in. Nice to see you. As is Jack. I was watching Jack's live stream of him doing some unboxing earlier today. Um, let's let's do a bit of love spreading. Well, that sounds interesting. If you are here because you've seen my fishy content, this isn't really about fishy stuff tonight, but all these guys have channels. So, not all of them, but some of them. So, Silver Creek, Aquarium Daily, JT Keeping Fish, all much more accomplished than me in the actual fish keeping side of things, go and check out some of their channels. Um, we will drop in some links and stuff throughout the evening. I want to spread a bit of love. See if we can't get some sub counts up, because they deserve a lot more than they've got. Um, who else have we got in? We've got Jack in, we've seen him. The Fish Room, Cam, nice to see you. Um, oh. Oh. So this might be a topic of conversation the, they had a fantastic live stream last night. So again, Fish Room, that's Cam from New Zealand. I was on a couple of weeks ago as uh, thankful as a guest. And they had Heiko Blair on last night. And I tried to watch it. I tried my hardest. It's quite the coup, I thought. But oh, I had to give up. He was doing my head in. So I'll have thoughts. We might talk about that later. Um, Hans from Sweden. Hello, Hans. How we doing? Um, Simon's in. Nice to see you. Shady Grady. Hello there. How's your cell? Uh, Aquarium Delirium. How we doing there? Fish Film Link is in. And Only Oscars, although I haven't seen anything from Only Oscars. So, hello, June. Anyway. Boots and cats and boots and cats. Um, too early for beers, coffee. Yeah, you can stick your coffee. That's fine. Is, is it Saturday for you now? I, 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 it boggles my mind how that works. Uh, Jack says when he's a millionaire he's going to get me a beer sponsorship. I mean, you could just buy me a beer. That would be fine too. Um, but I will remind you that you said that when you inevitably are a millionaire. He's one of the most industrious um, entrepreneurial young men on in the fish fam. Oh look, Mo Jijaja 2010 has just subscribed. Hello. And I'm sorry if I mangled your name. Don't unsubscribe. <laughs> um, so Jack will no doubt be... He's the next... He's the Dutch Aquarium Co-op. He's got that business brain. Um, so when you are a millionaire, yeah, I want free beer for life. 
That's what that's what you meant by that, surely. Lee from Bolton, nice to see you. But some cats with the IPA skunk. It does not smell that bad. I I was of that opinion until you lot got me hooked on this stuff. You all made me an alcoholic. Um, I did not like IPAs and craft beers and, as I called them, weird beers because they were all... What's the word I'm looking for? Minging? Yeah. I was much more of a cool, fresh lager type of guy, but... Oh, it's delicious now. <laughs> I'll remind him you said that. Yeah, quite right. Silver Surfer, how we doing? Uh, Simon's got a question. Why are my moss balls rolling around? Well, I don't know. That... Is that a euphemism? Or literally your moss balls? I don't know, they could... Maybe they've got those... What are they called? Those little zebra things in them that everyone was going mental about a couple of years ago? Um, <laughs> if that was a serious question, I need more information. Otherwise, I'll just keep saying hello to everyone. Lisa's in. Nice to see you, Lisa. Uh, by the way, I still need to make a video about you. <laughs> um, it was just a bit of fun. No, you don't. Make it about Andrew instead. Uh, 8 a.m. Saturday. God, right, okay. Yes, it is too early for a beer. So it's what? 9 p.m. Friday here for us. Uh, Brian's in. Nice to see you, Brian. How would, have we caught up? Have we have finally caught up? The fish ladies in. God, we are. We are blessed with all these new names coming to say a lot. The fish ladies in, no doubt, to plug. The Aquarium Daily stream tomorrow is being run as a, a ladies' takeover night. So if you're interested in that, and you usually come to um, Andrew's stream on a Saturday night with quizzes and games and bingos and stuff, it's the ladies are taking over. So go in and say hello and tell them how much better they are at it than he is. <laughs> as long as you drink it out of my mug, I would be happy to drink free beer out of any receptacle whatsoever. I would like to say, this is delicious. Can recommend. Um, Salient says, if Zen comes in, tell her I said she's a traitor. Oh no, we can't. Is someone else streaming? Am I bullying someone out of a stream? Ah well. <laughs> um, so yeah, so Cam, as I was saying, I didn't want to crash your stream or bring it down because I thought that was quite a coup, getting someone like Heiko, who is, however you feel about him, a big name in the industry. Um, for those of you who aren't watching or have just joined, I'm talking about the Heiko Blair was on Cam's stream last night with Cam and John on the fish room talking about himself as Heiko likes to do <laughs> but he is one of the most divisive characters I would say there's, I mean, there's no doubt that he has done some things in this hobby he's effectively devoted his life to it but he's also a wronging that, that, that he gives off definite Jimmy Savile vibes. There's something not right there. But also, the way he talks about things, he is just so self-centred. He is his, own, his, his best promoter. There's, no one loves Heiko Blair more than like Heiko Blair loves Heiko Blair. And All right, yes, I'll give him his due. He has done some work in the field, but has he done as much work as he claims he's done? Some of the things that he comes out with um, I don't want to cloud your judgment, so I will say go and watch that stream. Go and watch. Someone put a link into Cam's stream from the other night. It's a bit hard going at first. It's a bit car crashy because I think he's doing it from McDonald's and couldn't hear what was going on. Um, but even when he could hear what was going on, I, I even wrote down some notes of things that I wanted to talk about um, <laughs> because they were literally things that we, he was saying and doing and Cam as always I'll give you, you are the consummate professional when it comes to interviewing you have got your questions prepared they're all ready to go, they're well thought out but if, my head was exploding at some of the things he was coming out with so some of the things I've written down for instance, one of your questions was what was it about your mother's influence that gave you your interest in fish or worse to those, those ideas and his answer was, I've written lots of books, please go and buy them. You're like, oh, okay. What is it that, about the Amazon that draws you there all the time? And he went off in some kind of rant about how China um, is terrible. 
uh, that Europe has no trees left and that he's got a book that he's working on, his biography. That'll be out soon. Buy that when that comes out. <laughs> Um, one of the questions I believe do I, I, I'm not making this up, this this is literal, go and watch the stream, if nothing else, you deserve it for the work that you put in trying to put up with the guy, but where, where's your next exposition? Um, where, where are you going next? And he went off about this thing about how his daughter speaks seven languages and was born 100 years apart from his grandmother, um, that he's so clever that he didn't go to school, but then when he did go to school, they moved him up two years higher than his age, and uh, I was just like, oh God. Then he went on some kind of rant about climate change, how that didn't work, that women are all evil. Um, uh, oh God. So there seems to be three camps of people when it comes to high school players. There's those who love him, there's those who have never heard of him, and there are those who just can't stand him. I, I'm slowly falling into that latter category of like everything that he says. I'm just like, Ugh, what are you talking about, you absolute lunatic? So I'm not even going to go into the whole scientifically dodgy things that he has done and said and the claims, the outlandish claims that he has made. He's, he's a meme, for want of a better word, for how he will take a picture and just go, saturation, 100, exposure, 200, and go, I've found this new fish. It's, yeah, every time I've ever seen him speak anywhere, it's always, I invented fish. I discovered everything. I described this years before. And you can, without doing much work, you can go and find much, much earlier descriptions and much, much earlier um, examples of things that he claims to have found and he's the first white man to ever go here and he's never done that but the whole wrong wronging thing just go and have a look at his Instagram that is it's got to be one of the most sickening things I've ever seen and I'll say no more than that because I'm sure it's it's not for fun talk but He's, he's not right. And there's also, and if you really think, oh, hang on, this guy is a bit weird, this isn't right, go and check out Heiko posting on Facebook and then you'll see some of the really strange stuff. But he, there's, there's no getting away from it. He is a big name. He has done lots of work, whether it's good, bad, or indifferent work. He has done a lot in the hobby. Whether he's furthering it now or not is questionable. I'm, I think probably not. But to get him on your stream, and ha what was it, two hours you had him on there? I thought that was brilliant. You, that was that was the coup of the century. Um, I, I kind of get why he didn't do it, but I would have liked to have pushed him a little bit on something. Not, I mean, you, I could see both you and John, so the hosts are Cam and John of this, and I could see that some of the things they were Heiko was saying, who was in a little world of his own, he lives in his own little world, and some of the answers he was given, you could see Cam and John going, Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we've got another question. Oh, it was painful, some of it. Um, but... But good. So, good on you for getting that. It was, like I say, a bit of a coup to get him on there. I hope you get lots of views out of it, because you deserve a better platform than that. I think you're one of the best interviewers out there of people like that because you'd actually do prepare questions and know a little bit about your guests and rather than a lot of these podcasty type things and I, I would probably be the same where they're very low effort of oh, how did you get into fish I know lots of things start like that but it's it's good stuff so you deserve all you get and so I will not say any more about it other than to say mm, mm, not a fan um but Heiko, if you want to come on one day and talk nonsense with me, I'd love to have you here. I'd love to ask you some more pressing questions. Um, but yes, let's leave it at that. So what else have we got planned for tonight? It is quarter past nine at half past nine. Oh no, we don't have to do the quiz at half past nine anymore. We'll do the quiz at 9.45, just to be different. Um, and I have two quizzes tonight, so... Copying no one, a completely original idea, we're going to have my first quiz, which is the monthly quiz, where we all answer the questions and your points make prizes, and at the end of the month someone gets a prize. 
And then we're going to have a completely new, unique, never seen before on the Fish Fam quiz. Um, where there are ten questions. <laughs> completely new and unique. And you have to keep answering the questions right to stay in the quiz. So if you get question one wrong, you're out. And then, if anyone makes it through all ten questions, completely unique, never seen before, if you make it through all ten questions, you get a choice of prize. You either get a t-shirt, something like this, um, or you can have, I don't know, a month's supply of fish food. T-shirt or fish food, whatever you want. I um, hope that makes sense. We'll do that just after ten, I think. Maybe ten fifteen or so. Um, right, so where did we get to? Uh, Adam Seven from Blackpool is on as well. On his road to 700. Adam Seven from Blackpool? In, in Britain? Stealing my time? No, it's not my time. Has Adam Seven from Blackpool got like a Liverpudlian accent? Have I, have I read that right? Mm, bear with me. Should we bomb his stream and go and say hello and help him get to 700? Is his channel called Adam7 from Blackpool? Because I can't see anything that looks remotely fishy. Oh, I don't know. Okay, can't find it. Oh, maybe if I went on Fish Fam Link. Because that's the thing, isn't it, that tells us what's going on. It's Adam Seven Fish Tanks. It is indeed. He's got guests and everything. God, why is everyone so much better at this than me? Who's his guests? Oh, who's his guests? Right, right. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> Adam Seven, and oh, how did oh, that's not that I'm infuriated by the traitor that is this person. Uh, hang on, let's show you this. Oh, why can't I type? All I have to type in is YouTube. Uh, bear with me, I just have to go on a little rant for a while. Why can't I find his channel when I look for it on YouTube? Have I been banned from it or something? channels there we go Ugh, right forget it it's not working you know just watching someone do nonsense view channel there you go hmm, I think of that earlier Is your tank? 19 litres now. So, I think it's like just under 24 gallons. So, my LFS, I've got a 105 litre tank. They say I can have 30, 30 Who's that? fish in that tank. Is that Arnold? Arnold, please give me some free fish food. I'll love you forever. And then I'll go and moonlight on someone else's channel. Well, it's like that, is it? Uh, anyway, everyone, go and say hello. Arnold's now banned from this channel. <laughs> not really, not really. Uh, 
the audio was the hardest part. So this is back on the Heiko stuff. The audio was the hardest part. It was, it was in Mackie D's. He couldn't hear you. And even when he could, I don't think he understood what you were on about. Um, right, we'll have no more Heiko bringing down the, the evening. Um, <laughs> I heard he's got a private tank that has never leaked. Ah, boo, hiss. No, no one's done that. we would be in trouble uh, sorry, I'm skipping through. ABC, nice to see you. How we doing? Zen's here, the traitor. Apparently, we'd call you a traitor. I can't, oh, probably because you were on that stream earlier. Um, I've just seen a few people <laughs> <laughs> popping in on Adam's chat. Why don't you two, when you're finished, come and join us here? Uh, I know who we're talking about. Yeah, so... We're talking about Heiko Blair because he was on a podcast with um, Cam and John, the fish, the fish room. Go and watch it because it is worthy of watching, and it's a big coup. But wow, what a guy! Um, there you go. There's the link. You can go and check that out. Uh, yes, Ray, we're having two quizzes. We are indeed. Definitely, neither of them have been copied in any way whatsoever. So what, like? Um um, <laughs> there's Adam Seven's stream. <laughs> it is the traitor Arnold. Look at him there. Huh. Well, I think I think I've already said my hot take. I think. Um, How dare he? How dare he? Mm. I'm going to ask for a fish food back. And he owns a fish shop. He better send me some free stuff. That's all I can say. Stevie P in the house. Nice to see you. Stevie P was last week's quiz winner, therefore he got to pick the specialist subject for tonight's quiz. Tonight's quiz is going to be the usual, but the specialist subject is aquatic plants. Stevie P says, this is why I lurk, so I can't be accused of fraternizing. <laughs> um, I missed it, but you've been a member for 22 months? Oh, God. You should really get something for being a member, shouldn't you? Suggestions on a postcard, people. Uh, it's there are plant questions and I have used some of your questions as a guide but I haven't explicitly copied your questions so you should be okay to play Tommy plus if you do well this week I'm sure you'll drop off like usual in the future weeks I, I jest I jest um, so I said we'd kick the, the quiz off about quarter two <coughs> I heard I heard today <laughs> another story that someone was oh Zen Ginger's become a member as well thank you very much I might turn if I turned my sound down oh turned it up too much um someone thought when we said quarter to so if I say, ah, oh, quarter to ten, we'll do the quiz, they thought that meant 25 minutes away from ten. And why were people saying, I'll meet you at quarter past nine, and then being ten minutes early? And it, oh, what? Because they thought, because he was American, that a quarter meant 25. He had no... No inkling that a quarter was a fraction, a fourth of something. Any number divided by four was a quarter of that number. He thought a quarter meant 20. Blew my mind. Anyway, um, why are you doing? Because it's only f five questions, maybe, are about plants. So, for those of you who are new and want to take part in the quiz, the whole idea is it's fastest finger first. So you get points for answering correctly, and the quicker you answer correctly, the more points you get. Yes. Um, 
if you win the quiz, you get to pick a specialist subject for the following week. So, and this time it was Stevie P, he won last week, so you get to pick a specialist subject, which was aquatic plants. And then I'll give you kind of five questions on aquatic plants. I generally try to do five questions on the specialist subject, five questions on current affairs, what's going on this week, five questions that are generally fishy, and then five general knowledge questions. So everyone gets a bit of a chance. In the second quiz, we're mixing it up a little bit, it's a survivor quiz. So it's answer correctly to stay in, but it isn't just multiple choice. So in the first quiz, all questions are multiple choice. In the second quiz, there might be stack these buildings from tallest to shortest, and you have to move them around, or it could be a math question. What's two times two plus seven? And then you have to type in the right number. So there's all different questions there with different amounts of time to answer. Um, We'll see when we get there. Um, where is the like button on desktop? It says Scott. Where is the like button on desktop? Have you all missed it? Is that is that a clever way of getting people to look for it and click it? Because only 21 of you out of the 50 watching have clicked like. What do we always say? It's free to watch this nonsense. I can't charge for it. Um, but all you have to do is give us a wee like. I can't have Arnold generating more likes over on Adam Seven's channel. <sighs> I feel so hurt by that. <laughs> Not really. I'm going to go and watch that afterwards. Um, so we would like a little bit of a like. If you if you really want to, you can join. I'm afraid you don't get anything for joining as a member other than that warm, fuzzy feeling of knowing you're helping out a small, struggling creator like myself um, to be able to make videos. Because any money that I make from YouTube goes straight back into the channel and running it. It's not cheap doing all these mental things, so every penny is appreciated. Thank you very much. But I don't think I'll ever get to a point where... I'll do members only content because I just feel it's unfair for those of you who aren't members. The biggest way you can support me is watching my videos. That's my number one priority is to get you to watch my videos. If you want to do anything over and above that, membership, super chats, all those kind of things, it's hugely appreciated, but I understand that this is not the time for people to have a lot of spare disposable income. So just watch the videos, give me the likes, share it. That's what we like. That's what we like. A bit of engagement, nothing more than that. A uh, quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. It is indeed. <laughs> I, just, I did my head in. I couldn't see that. Um, did you hear that someone has bought a flower horn and called it hum? What? Oh, that makes me feel quite sad. I mean, it is a top quality name for a flower horn. Who, who was that? Quarter past does not mean twenty-five. I know it doesn't. Um, it was it was a particularly stupid American that thought a quarter because of the the money quarter being twenty-five cents that that meant a quarter of anything was twenty-five. And he was explaining this to somebody else, and we were all like, "Oh, what?" This was the same man who, in a previous, um, he was talking about getting away with something, and he he said something along the lines of, "I." Uh, I can get away with this scotch free. I was going, Scott free? He's going, no, scotch free. I was like, no, Scott free. And that was like a 20 minute conversation about how the phrase was not scotch free. I was like, where are you getting free scotch from? That's not a thing. It's scot free. Um, uh, anyway, I digress. Americans. <laughs> One specific American. I like lots of Americans. Um, <laughs> Even though they can't stick an F on the word mathematics. They can math, sort of. Usually, indeed. Um, I have fat fingers and a baby in one arm. <laughs> but I'm not winning in the quiz. Hey, if you've got a baby in the arm, that's all you need. Barry, nice to see you. Um, oh. The light button's disappeared for me. Check this cord. Oh, what's going on? I can see the like button. I could like that other stream. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I know. <laughs> that's, that's, so, sorry, I have to share this. Can I do a little face? So, that's my Discord server, if you want to come and join that. This is my view. I've got video suggestions where the like button should be. And then, <laughs> Aquarium DLC, in my view, the first thing I thought was, Ah! Who watches YouTube in light mode? And then the very next comment was, Ah, light mode! <laughs> well, you can't see it because of my stupid face. Um, <laughs> ah, light mode. Um, is it underneath the video suggestions, maybe? Oh, I don't know. Bloody YouTube making it harder for people to like things. Who'd have thunk it? Big face. Click it when you find it. That's what we need, Brian. Thank you very much. Um, we'll start the quiz when Juggler arrives at not a quarter before or a quarter past. Do we need to wait for Juggler? Surely we should get in ahead of Juggler arising to give us a bit more of a chance to everyone else. Uh, Skiller says, I've just increased my stocking to 25 stinker discus. Some really rare dark angels are included. Wow, very nice. Get into Discord and share some pictures of them. I'm not sold on the dark angels, I must admit. They look a bit to me like um, platinum whites or snow angels that have gone wrong a little bit. And they've gone, hmm, what can we do with it? I know, new name, call them dark angels. But I can come around to it. Mm. So share some pics. Uh, it's changed layabout. Layabout? Hmm. It's changed layout a bit on the TV screen when I go and look at the comments. Hmm. Sorry. I don't know why I'm apologising. I didn't change it. No, YouTube. Uh, I'm not sure if I'd be worried or intrigued what's members only content. I tried it. I tried it a couple of times where I thought. If I've just got my phone out, I'll be wondering about, and I think I made a video about uh, coit tanks or something. Oh, it was for a swimming pool when I was making like a swimming pool. I was like, ah, my musings of, oh, maybe this could be a koi tank one day. I could make a brown koi pond or a quarantine pond or a blah, 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 blah. Six views. So I thought, no, that's a ridiculous idea. No one cares. Why would they care? Um... <laughs> Brian just heard the words free scotch and he's very woken up. <laughs> scotch free sounds like a nightmare, indeed. <laughs> Scott is indeed very valuable. Top quality moderation coming from Scott. Thank you. And there is the Discord server if you want to join in the fun once we finish off with this. Simon's hobbled jugglers and... Well, we have, yeah, maybe we should just crash on now and do the quiz early. Votes for doing the quiz early so as you can get in ahead of juggler. Mind you, Stevie P's the man to watch at the moment. It wasn't me. Skiller has a quarter of this because he's got 25 of them. Yeah, it's quite right. <laughs> um, oh, I also meant to ask, because we can talk about this in real time. And, you know, in danger of talking about fishy stuff. Did you see the video that I released recently about the Aquastics? Aquatac? No, it's not what it's called. This product? Aquastac. Habistack. Habistacks. There we go. Um, I've had a few comments about it. Um, it's basically this. It's I, I implore you to go and watch the video, but it's this is a, like an early pre-production model of it. Um, and it's a planter. So the idea is you have a base and a lid, but you have several of these, and you can get as many as you want to make it as high as you want or short as you want. And you have a central column that you fill with like your premium aquatic planting substrate and that sits in the middle like so and then in here around the sides is where you put your plants and then this can just go in a big tank somewhere I really like the idea I had a couple of concerns in the video 
Um, and a few people mentioned this, saying, well, one of my concerns was I don't think these bits are wide enough, so you can't get a plant or tweezers in there easy enough. And the guy that invented it commented on the video and went, ah, well, actually, what you're meant to do is put your plants in first before you put the substrate in the middle. So you do the core, but then you then you do the plants, and then you do the infill with your gravel or your sand or whatever here. That makes a lot more sense. Um, but I don't know if you can see this, but this is just 3D printed. Because it is a, just a prototype. Uh, it's going to be injection moulded when they get the final version. But he's already got a version 2 on the way, because another bunch of comments were about can we retrofit this to make it some kind of filtration? So this could just be like some kind of big air filter. Or someone else asked about putting a heater in here, potentially. So having filtration, heat and everything going through this. I think that's where it's at. Because when it grows in, it looks a bit crap. You're going to have that in the middle of your tank or the side of your tank or whatever it is. Hmm, not brilliant. But imagine you fully decked that out. I can see that being really cool when it's properly a big mound of plants. So I'm quite excited about that going. My one fear is that when it comes out, it's like 200 quid. So apparently the Kickstarter is getting launched next week. Um, so we might know more about pricing soon. <laughs> but one of the funny things is, so this, this life of a YouTuber, I'm sure some of you others out there get this as well, but I got an email a month ago, if not longer, saying, hi, we are creating this fantastic product. Would you like to have a, a copy? Um, we'll send you one, you make a video about it. And <laughs> I get them all the time, and normally I'm like, no, can't be arsed, because usually they're knobs to deal with. You have to sit and discuss contracts, and they're like, no, we want you to say this, and we want this, and we want that. So I have like a pre-prepared email where I say, happy to work with you, here are my three options. You can have, you send me a thing, I'll make a video about the thing, and you get no say in the video. Free of charge, you don't have to pay, you just have to send me the thing, and I'll make the video. You send me a thing, and give me a list of talking points, and you get to pre-approve the video, I charge them money, and say there's a cost to that, and a cost per thousand views. Capped at 100,000 views, if it, something that accidentally goes value, vi viral or something like that. So they get a little bit of editorial control. I still get to make the video that I want to make, it's just whether or not it gets released. And then the third option is they buy a sponsorship, a sponsorship slot. So at the beginning of the video I say, this video is sponsored by Happy Stacks. Aquastacks? I'd put more thought into it. <laughs> um, uh, this is a such and such, blah, 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 and then I'd go on with the rest of my video. So they were like, yep, yeah, please, can we go for option one? We will send you this. You make the video as and when you want. We're planning on bringing this product out before you go live with the video. Um, so this would work quite well. So then a few back and forth about that, and that was fine. And they sent me it. They sent me it. It turned up maybe two weeks ago, a week ago, a while ago, when I was really busy and I just didn't get a chance to do anything with it. So I was like, yep, got it, received it, I'll make the video. Um, and then I got chased on, like, Sunday night or Monday saying, oh, how, how's the video, when is that going to be out, are you, are you working on it, how's it getting on? I was like, yeah, it's coming, jeez. So then on Thursday, when I made the video, I said, the video's coming out tonight, um, hope you like it, type of thing. Uh, and I think I released the video about 6 o'clock on Thursday, Wednesday, whatever. And at like half past 6, they were like, oh, can you not release the video? Because we haven't actually made the product live yet. And I was like, well, no, it's already out. Sorry. Oh, can you take it down then? I was like, no. If I take it down, that messes with the algorithm. No, I'm not doing that. Like, oh, please, because we haven't released the product yet. And we did discuss beforehand how you would do that and sent me like the email highlighting all the lines. And the line said something like, we plan to release the product before you make the video. But the very next line was, you will of course um, retain full editor full rights for the entire video. So I was like, yeah, full rights for the entire video includes when I publish the video. I ain't taking it down. Or I was like, I'm happy to take it down, but I'm not putting it back up again because that would be even worse. 
So they clearly then went away and thought about it and went, all right, you know what, fine, don't worry about it, leave it up, thanks for the video, it looks great. Because I thought it's kind of positive, I didn't see why they were so upset about it. Um, but I think they're just a bit behind on the production and we're hoping that I'd time it a little bit better. So I'm sorry that I didn't get that done at the right time, I wish I had known that it wasn't quite ready, but the way they were being a bit pushy about, oh, is it done yet? I thought, well... Okay, I'll do it as fast as I can then. Um, so, that's what happened with the Habistex. Is that what it's called? I'm going to have to look now. Boo, what's happened here? Um, my channel. Habistex, I was right, kind of. Skiller's just joined the Discord with no idea how it works. <laughs> uh, early quiz. I think we've been rumbled, guys. I'm sure I saw his name pop up. Uh, not the only one to copy my... I have not copied your content. I don't know what you mean by that at all. Nonsense. Hmm. Um, I copied Andrew too. Bingo is fun. I have not copied Andrew. If anything, I started this. Uh, I, I won't do bingo because I, I think that's Andrew's thing. So I'll leave. I'll leave you with the bingo. Three hundred flower horn fry. Wow! I need to separate them into sizes quick, or the larger fish get the majority of food. You must need a lot of tanks to do that. Um, watching the Habistax video has made me want a three. Yeah, that's the thing about this is it made me think. This is cool. I like it. I really like it. I kind of wish I'd thought of it. I feel a bit sorry for the guy because he says he's patented it and stuff like that. But as soon as someone sees that, they could make a version of this that would work for themselves. They don't have to commercially sell it or anything, but you could just go, ah, oh, yeah, I'll 3D print this for myself. So I really hope they do well. But if it was on Dragon's Den, I would be worried about people copying it and making their own versions of it. <coughs> Pardon me. <laughs> that apparently instructions will be provided with the retail versions because this is a pre-production. It's not going to be 3D printed. It's going to be higher quality. Um, so, yeah, there is that. Uh, there he is. There he is. He's here. Jugglers in. Right, we we're a few minutes away from doing the quiz. Um, and I hadn't even decided what time we were doing the quiz, so you must have read our minds there. Time for quiz. Just about... Um, have I missed anything? Right. Let me get myself sorted. Then I can see you moonlighting over on Adam 7's stream. You might want to tell them that the quiz is about to start if they want to come and join in, in the quiz. Right, we will get ready. Presentation view. Move said presentation. Go on, little face. Um, copy that link. I couldn't figure out last week how to actually put oh didn't mean to do that. How to put the link into chat. I need to go on to my own stream to pin the link apparently. That can't be true.
I uh, can't figure it out. I'll give you the link. <laughs> it's got music and everything now. Uh, did I put... Have I, I did indeed. There you go. There's the link. My face is in the way. Shall I go down the bottom right? How's that? I feel like I should be up here, looking down the way, not looking that way. Oh. Let's try up here. Got 22 players in so far. Uh, Freya says, I'm going to play the first quiz and then watch the rest of the stream in a nice bath. It's been a long week. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> you can't be watching me from the bath. It's like, I had a stream a few weeks ago where someone's like, I'm on the toilet. I was a bit like, oh, lovely. Not, oh, you know where I was going with that. <laughs> I can listen to one stream and chat and mute in the other. That's the extent of my multitasking. Well, you've got me beat already. Uh, Freya, you're taking Graham into the back. See, well, oh, that's, yeah, but definitely if my wife was watching. No, none of that's happening. I'm here in the fish room alone. <laughs> uh, Rebecca's here as well. Right, Rebecca, we're doing the quiz. We're getting ready to go. In minus one minute, we will be starting. We'll be starting as soon as I go and get myself a refreshment. As you can see, I've managed to figure out how to put on my own... Uh, logo is that what I want to use we've added music, this is called Funky Jam I think um, let me get ready to go start the countdown good luck everyone Remember, fastest finger first, there will be two gambling questions, all multi-choice, and this one will do all the confusing stuff in the next quiz. A man's uneventful life disrupted by a zombie apocalypse is the tagline to which 2004 movie? I'm going to move my head out of the way because it's covering some of the question. So as you see the timer running down, that's how many points you get whenever you answer the question. So, you all thought it was Shaun of the Dead, most of you, and most of you were correct. It was indeed Shaun of the Dead, which is celebrating its 20th anniversary this week, I believe. Question two. What describes a plant grown immersed? Is it grown flea, f flea floating, free floating, below the water line, floating on the water, or above the water? Ah, oh, Rebecca, Shaun of the Dead isn't that old. It's twenty years old. Oh, almost an even split there between below the waterline and above the waterline, where of course it is. Above the waterline. Congratulations, everyone. On to question three. Or, or should we show the leaderboards and rankings? Oh, Kel Surprise. <laughs> Jugglers first, TVP second, and Shadow in third place with 155 points. So it's tight at the top, only five points separating the top three. Question three. Which of the following is a type of cryptocorine? Is it balance A, carbomba, which is fun to say, rotundifolia, or siamensis? I'm going 
gonna move myself over here so as I can do comments. Uh, oh dear, some people need to brush up on their aquatic plant knowledge, because of course it was Balance A. If you want to buy some Crypt Balance A, I have some for sale on my website. Ta-da! Sorry, cheesy plug. But I do. How does that affect the scoreboard? Stevie P takes the lead. Answered that one faster than Scott and Juggler. Question four. Millions saw a total eclipse in North America this week. Where was the first place in the US plunged into darkness? Was it Louisiana, Florida, Arizona, or Texas? What's Jack saying? The questions are easy. Why are you not winning then? Eh... <laughs> uh, Texas is the correct answer. JT's in eighth. Didn't get that one right. That one wasn't that easy, clearly. <laughs> Every time I feel do this, I feel like we're bullying Jack, so come on. Leave him alone. Next question. Which of the following plants is an epiphyte? Is it Eliocharis? Cryptocorine, Bucephalandra, or Blixa Japonica. I realise it's Blixa Japonica, but I like to say Japonica for some reason. I'm not sure where Arizona is. It's right next to um, Texas. Bucephalandra is the answer. Which most of you got. Well done, everyone. Oh, Skipper missed that one, as did False Inspector. I don't like the background. Um, is that better? We can see it a little bit better that way, can't we? Ready for the next one? What is the common name for the Phenacogrammus interruptus? Is it a Siamese algae eater? Is it an elephant nose fish? A denison barb? Or a Congo tetra? Do you know the answer? Well... Uh, wow. No, you do not. <laughs> So, a third of you think it's a Siamese algae eater, a third of you think it's an elephant nose fish. It is, in fact, a Congo Tetra. Shadow, only one in the top three to get that. I'm, I'm now questioning myself. Is it a Congo Tetra? It is a Congo Tetra. I'm sure it is. Um, lots of you got that one wrong. but I'm pretty sure it is a Congo Tetra. JT got that one wrong as well. Ready for number seven? Where was IPA, India Pale Ale, invented? I'm sorry for the disturbing gif that I used for that one, but I thought it was funny. Is it America, England, Netherlands, or India? Jack doesn't think it is. I'm pretty sure it is. So, IPA, most of you think it was either India or England. One of you's right. It was England. So, it was invented because... And I did write down the man's name in the question notes, but I really didn't save it, clearly. It was about making it able to travel well. So, it, it could travel 
ownership between England and India without going off. That was the whole point of it. Um, hang on. I'm just I'm just doing this to copy the name. Ugh. I didn't mean to ask the question again. I've all gone horribly wrong. Fenachagramus interruptus. Congo Tetra. Just wanted to make my point there. Right, ready for question eight. Other than weird, what would you call someone who collects umbrellas? Would they be a brolyologist, an umbrellists? Would they be umbrologists or would they brolists? Would they be brolyologists, umbrellists, umbrologists or brolists? What would you call a weirdo that collected brollies? Quite an even split there. The answer is... Brolyologists. Of course it is. Who didn't know that? Juggler knew, Stevie P knew, and Gas Musk knew. Ready for the next one? Who lived at 221C Baker Street? Is it Batman, Danger Mouse, the Simpsons or Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> oh, and the Garum. I did get most of you because it's 221C Baker Street. And who lives at 221C Baker Street? You think it's Sherlock Holmes, but he lives at 221B Baker Street. The answer is, of course, Danger Mouse. Stevie P, well done. Oh, I'm surprised you got that one. I didn't know Danger Mouse was universal. I thought that was a, a, a purely British thing. Or was it just a guess? Uh, and Gas Musk as well. Did, did Danger Mouse make it to America and Sweden? Dave Boy, well done. SJH, well done. JT, well done. <laughs> what is Danger Mouse? Danger Mouse is a cartoon hero. Have you ever heard of Penfold, Danger Mouse, Baron von Greenback? Yeah. It is not an old thing. Well, it is an old thing. Come on, keep up. Question 10. Right, remember, question 10 is going to be uh, a bidding question. It will suggest 25%, 50%, whatever you want. You don't. You can put in as many as... whatever point. If you've got 572 points, you can put in 111 points. It's a free form field. If you don't bet anything, you can't win anything. So if you bet nothing, but answer the question correctly, you get nothing. So you have to bet something if you want to get some prizes. Bear that in mind. So question 10 is a betting question. Good luck. Place your wager now. Ah, hands did have Danger Mouse. Ah. Cartoons, I think, are always like global because they can just dub the voices in. In whatever language. How do you spell my name? There you go. Nice, easy one. How do you spell my name? Is it Graham? 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 Or Graham? Uh, incidentally, these are all ways people have spelt my name this week. Not even this year, just this week. Uh, what do we think? So, one person thinks I'm a grey hammy. Nobody thinks I'm a grammy, which is good. Four people think I'm a grey ham. And 22 intelligent people think I'm a graham. Because that is indeed the correct answer. Well done, almost everyone. 
yeah, they are all names I have been called in by email this week of colleagues, people. I mean, the thing that gets me is it's normally my name's right there. I'll have sent an email and someone will reply saying, Hi, Grahami. And I'm like, Who the fuck is Grahami? It's in the email that. Anyway, I digress. Next one to go. Question 11. What country is this? Is it Japan, France, Mexico, or Ireland? Oh, Jeff Pelham's turned up. Is that the other stream finished now? Oh, coming over now to the the lesser of the streams. <laughs> Welcome, Jeff. Nice to see you. Uh, we all thought the answer was Mexico, and the correct answer was indeed Mexico. Well done, everyone. A lot of you got that one right. Brian, what did you go for, Brian? Are you, what, were you a France or Japan person? Uh, is it Adam Seven? No, Adam Seven is still going. There he is, with the traitor Arnold. Uh, question 12 coming up. Here it comes. What three-letter word describes the top level of substrate in an aquarium? Lay, hat, cap. Do you put a hat on your substrate? Do you put a lay on your substrate? Well done, almost everyone. It is, of course, a cap. You put a sand cap on or a gravel cap. Well, the, the gambling question didn't really change anything, did it? Because we've got the same top five, I think it was. But, you know, there will be one more gambling question. Who knows how it will go? Ready for question 13, peeps? Let's go. How many fences are there in the Grand National Horse Race this weekend? Yes, on Sunday... Sunday? On Sunday at Aintree, we will have the Grand National Horse Race. My one and only horse racing bet annually. You think there are 30, and you're correct, there are 30 fences. Oh, Juggler got that one. Shadow and Stevie P did not. Gas Musk making a play for the top three as well. Question 14. Which of these is not a floating plant? Pistia stratiosis. Limnobium levigatum, I think that's a spell from Harry Potter. Limnophilia sessiflora, or Salvinia natans. So, which is not a floating plant? Uh, most of you think it is Pistia stratiotis which is actually water lettuce, so you're wrong. It's Limnophilia sessiflora. It can be used as a floating plant. You're, you're correct, I suppose, but out of all of them, so water lettuce, um, that's red root floaters, is that one? And that's that. <laughs> What does this UK road sign mean? So, while technically most plants could be floating plants, shut up, it's my quiz. What does this road sign mean? 60 mile an hour speed limit, no heavy goods vehicles, national speed limit, or no stopping. Oh, D 
dear. It, of course, means national speed limit. So, on a, a single lane carriageway, that means 60 miles an hour. On a dual carriageway, it means 70 miles an hour. And in the UK, a single carriageway can be as big as just one car width, which can present some interesting challenges if people stick to that speed limit and go 60 mile an hour head on with nowhere to go. Yowch. Um, uh, Stevie B, geography beat you there. It's making it close at the top though. Dr. Awesome's in the house. Nice to see you, Dr. A. How are you doing? Yes, otherwise known as the countryside, where you're allowed to go at 60 mile an hour with nowhere to get away from anyone. Question 16. Which fish is a live bearer? <sighs> okay, it's not A. They have one every game. That is a mistake on my part. I do apologise. Is it Discus, Daniel, or Swordtail? Which these fish is a live bearer? I don't know why that's still in there. I've, 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 I've checked this and everything. Uh, most of you think it's the Swordtail. And most of you are right. It's definitely not. They have won every game. And it's, also, it's also not Daniel's. They are egg scatterers. So, yes, it is Sword Tails. Oh, Shadow, did you think I was... Do you think I was cheating you? Did you go for one of the... They have one every game questions. Look how close it is at the top. Separated by... What's that? 16 points. Uh, it's the one-two from last week as well. Are we ready for question 17? What's the main benefit of aquariums made from low iron glass? Are they clearer, heavier, lighter, or stronger? Apparently nobody's answered that one. What's happened? Andrew, it's broke. Right, we'll freeze it there. We've paused it. Um We play it again. Is it? How do I do this? What's happening? <sighs> Let me see. I'm sure there's a way to. Can I reset a question? How do I reset a question? Type in chat what you think the answer is. Alright, let's see if the next question works. Because everyone scored zero, that's fine. Question zero. Question 18. What course hosts the Masters, one of golf's major tournaments that's happening this weekend? Well, this one's working. TBC Sawgrass, Augusta National, Pebble Beach or the Old Course? Oh, this one's asking itself again. I did not touch anything there. Still not letting anyone bet on it. The answer was clearer. Uh, 
I don't know what's happening now. But the, you all thought it was Augusta National. You were all correct. Apart from the four people that thought it was Pebble Beach and the two people that thought it was the old course. I don't know what's going on now. I hope it... The amount of money that this cost. <laughs> I hope this one isn't crap too. Uh, it is, of course, Augusta National. Well done, everyone. Sport is always Stevie P's undoing. It's also it's sport and current affairs. I was trying to be kind to you. It's going on this weekend. My first pass of the question was, what par is it? Right, question 19. Are we ready? What does phylogenetics describe? What does phylogenetics describe? Is it genetic similarities between unrelated organisms? Is it evolutionary history and relationship between organisms? Is it potential growth rates of organisms? Or is it genetic traits passed through generations in organisms? Well, this is a widespread, this one. People were not sure about this. Fairly even. The answer is... It's evolutionary history and relationships between organisms. See? Don't say I don't do highbrow stuff every now and again. Right. Final question of the night. For this quiz, anyway. It's going to be another wager question. Let's see how the stacks, how the stacks stack up, how the points stack up. So remember, if you bet nothing, you can gain nothing, but you can also lose nothing. So if you want to take over, so Shadow, you're going to have to bet big, I think. Stevie P, you could play this a little bit more conservatory, conserva conservatively and hope Juggler doesn't bet all in or hope that he does and gets it wrong and loses all his points. Oh, tricky time. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Wager your points here while I enjoy a Brew York. A, a Brew York time-travelling taxi. Hazy IPA. A female whale is called a what? A cow, a mare, a hen, or a sow? <laughs> I love that one person's picked hen. <laughs> so the spread of answers is most people think it's a cow, of all things. One person thinks it's a hen, and two people think it's a sow. Who's going to be right? Because the answer is... A cow. Are we ready? Oh, no. Sorry, pressed the wrong button. Oh, God damn it. Our winners are... I will get used to driving this game one day. JT, Jack's third place. Stevie P in second place with 3,000 points. <coughs> A welcome return to his rightful throne. Juggler with 3,022 points. So you clearly both got that one right and wagered everything. That's some good points. I'll leave this up so people can see where they ended up. So we had a little bit of a, a blip in the middle of that, but well done, everyone. And if you know, if you finished down the bottom, Brian, I hope you at least had fun. 
<laughs> Rebecca says, my special knowledge is fish <laughs> and name the animal. Well, we, we are going to do another quiz, which has a mix of easy and more difficult questions. Andrew, we're going to have to just trust each other. <laughs> Juggler can't win tomorrow. I think we should allow... We'll have to trust each other. We're not going to cheat and look at each other's questions and allow you to play. Big Steve's glass box creations would have won if not for the blip. Well, you wouldn't because everyone got the same points for the blip. Ah, Jenna said she knew the answer to the master's questions, but too late. Boots and Cats did better than expected on the plant questions. Good. That's what we want. The traitor's still there, talking away. I bet it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend to be Arnold now. Beep. Beep. Yeah. Big face. Uh, check your Discord messages. Okay. There's a thing in the way. Oh, we've got, we've, we could do three quizzes this week. Does anyone want to hear me bitch about Heiko Blair anymore? Or should we do another quiz? <laughs> Let me just do a thing. Uh, we can try a Blue Kit quiz that jug so Juggler had written some quizzes as last month's winner. For us all to play. Quiz, quiz, quiz. Okay. So if I discover and search for a set, the. So is A A F B Q your name? Because I can't seem to find that. <laughs> I'm time for bitching. I've done some bitching, so I said it at the start of the. I said it at the start of the stream. My bitching about Heiko. Um, so I won't go over it, cover old ground or again. Yes, I will. I can't believe that he is still uh, around walking. Uh, no. Go and, go and watch it tomorrow. It's nothing constructive. It's just me saying the man should be challenged more. That's all I want to see. He's a wrong and <laughs> He gives off Jimmy Savile vibes. Uh, no, nothing to do with any of the off-target scientific stuff of yeah, the climate change is not real and oh, all women are terrible and all the other things that he said last night of like, what? Stop talking. Go away, old man. Um, you can't just go around increasing the exposure on a picture you took and claiming it's a new species of fish. You can't just say you were the first white man ever to visit a place when clearly people were visiting there decades before you. You can't Decide to name fish after yourself. And just the nonsense. Europe has no trees anymore. What was the other thing? Deforestation. So I thought, okay. So we did some ranting earlier on. But one of the questions was about deforestation. What is the impact deforestation is having on fish? And he went off on this rant about how it. It's affecting fish because all fish are affected by deforestation because they have nowhere to hide. And you're like, what? What? Be 
because they like cover. And I'm like, yeah, what? It's true, fish do like cover, but what percentage of fish live in, like, these massive lakes and rivers, like Lake Tanganyika, uh, Malawi, and the huge rivers, they don't have forest cover in the middle of these lakes, but they do have fish. And and some of the other things was like, what was it? I will get these numbers wrong, but he said something very specific, like, uh, in, in India, <laughs> 95% of people don't know that 84% of wild animals are killed 100% of the time by 90% of the people. And you're like, what? What? So it just makes shit up, basically. It's that, that was my problem with it. I didn't know much about Heiko Player other than he'd written a book and was clearly very, very insistent that I go and buy it. As, as would anyone who's ever spoken to him would know that he really wants you to buy his book um, but yeah there's just some weird things going on with that guy that he's just not right so anyway Juggler, I can't find this on Bluekit do you want to host it again and we'll do it that way maybe But if you look, the, the damning evidence for me, oh, we've got a link, there we go, is, just look at his Instagram. Oh, right, okay, okay. So, I haven't looked at this. This is going to be a, a classic look at the quiz, which I will also play. Because we can do that when I haven't looked at it. Uh, But yeah, go and look at Heiko's Instagram. It's just full of weird shit that's just not normal. Right, we've got a quiz. You might be able to hear the music in the background. We can all play this quiz. movies, I can't guarantee because this isn't my quiz I'm playing along with you wait, so Graham, is the deal still up when I come first? Some, no, you don't get to come first <laughs> no, it was a one time deal you had to win on the fish quiz and you didn't uh, those were my two key takeaways from that, what, well, he's a mentalist and a wrong one. Heiko, dro Heiko dropped an F-bomb oh, and people needed that. <laughs> well, he does swear. I mean, it's a bit like a broken clock. I used to use the phrase, a broken clock is right twice a day until my daughter told me that that isn't the case. But the amount he talks and says, he's going to be right about some things every now and again. But when you take him on everything he says, you're like, no, you, you, you should be in a home. You weird, weird person. Uh, I hear many saying it's not real, yet meaning they actually don't buy into the sales propaganda surrounded by it. I don't know what you mean there. I must have missed something. Oh, the climate change stuff. Yeah, and if you have a if you have a problem with climate change and 
or a climate change denier and uh, it's the way he was doing it so if you don't if you think climate change isn't real that's one thing you can you're entitled to that opinion and we could have a discussion about it but he just the bullshit that he was coming out with to explain why he didn't believe in climate change Right, are we ready? I think we've got enough people in, have we? Brian's got the dire wolf. I think I'm the... There's me. I'm the walrus. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Wait, what's this? Why is he still allowed in? Get out of here, you. You two-faced, traitorous wretch. Imagine coming back in here. <laughs> and the other one! Adam Seven Fish Tanks! I can't believe it! Welcome, welcome guys. Nice to see you. I was only jesting. Um, I hope you had a good stream. I didn't get a chance to watch it. Because I was streaming at the same time, so I shall try and catch up afterwards. Uh, are we ready to go? Are we ready to go? I don't care if we're ready to go. We're going to press go. Here we go. Wait! In the film Princess Diaries, Mia Thermopolis inherits the throne of which? Oh, it's Denmark or something, isn't it? Oh, that's uh, Genovia. I'm going to go with Genovia. I need to move my coupon up here so as I'm out the way. I thought it was Denmark, I must admit. Yay, it was indeed Genovia. I was pretty slow at that. Uh, me Salviel, say what you see. Oh, uh, spit in your food, surely. Saliva and meal. Jeff's not sure if he's in. Well, uh, click the link. You can still get. You can join afterwards, even if it's slow. I, I can't control it, unfortunately. What? Mouth-watering meal. Spitting your food is surely the same. Saliva is spit. What was the first fish bred in space? I'm going to go with Danio, because they're always the first fish to do shit. Guppy, goldfish, or what's that? Killifish? Oh, it'll be killifish, won't it? Hmm. Don't worry, Adam. Um, I was taking the piss out of Arnold, basically. <laughs> I, I wish you all the best. Feel free to join, have some fun. Uh, well, it was Gullyfish as well, damn it. Um, I didn't mean it. Approximately how many people watched OJ's slow chase speed? Oh, uh, I'm going to go with the hundred million. It's got to be a lot of people, surely. Well, that was a rice fish. I thought it was a killifish. I heard about this on the news. God. Stop making me feel so old, Rebecca. Yes. Hundred million.
Bill Crosby. Bill Cosby. I'm in ninth. I'm in the top ten. I think that's respectable. Uh, it's a ram, surely. Uh, micro Geofagus Ramrizi. Or an electric blue ram. So OJ Simpson was someone who definitely killed two people, got away with it, in criminal court, did not get away with it in civil court, then wrote a book saying, I did it. <laughs> oh, second place on that one, well done me. Just behind JT. Oh no, I picked the wrong one. It's going to be John Claude Van Varenberg. Oh, you've done me. Got him. It's the birth name. So that is Jean Claude Van Damme. But his birth name is not Jean Claude Van Damme, that's his stage name. In fact, I don't even think that's his birth name. It's, it's more than that as well, isn't it? There's like He's got like two or three extra names in there. Well done. Well done, juggler. Ah, I can't believe you got me to that one. No, 1992. Oh, Paris, yeah, Disneyland. Disneyland. The boss of the Disneyland Paris build was an American guy called Bob Google, who, after he did this, came and worked for a company I worked for. He was the chief exec for a company I worked for for a while. He too was a crazy man. I I was this close to winning a mini at a company event. That's that's what it was all about back in those days. Name the plant, uh, Amazon Sword. Which are available on aquariumadventures.co.uk If you want. There's also going to be uh, an auction, SVAS auction, on the 28th of April, I think it is. I think I'm going to get a couple of lots for that and sell some plants and some fish. So if anybody wants some plants and some fish, I might, I might be putting an order in. I was slow on that one. Still in sixth place though, not quite on the first page. Oh, I am, I'm second, wow. I did not know that. <laughs> right. <laughs> if this isn't thick cut, which I read as something completely different. <laughs> I, added, I added an extra letter, which was the letter N. never heard of a thick cut as a saying though, so I could be wrong. I am wrong! Uh, I just, at the last second there I went, yeah, no one ever says thick cut. They say thick cut. Oh, what a divvy. Uh. Which country is this in? Uh, that's the Leaning Tower of Pisa, which, oh. Spoiler alert, I have a question about the Leaning Tower of Pisa in the Survivor quiz. <laughs> I feel that answer was a personal attack. <laughs> oh no, Stevie P, can you get back in? Sometimes you can get back in quick. 
not miss anything. It's in Italy. It's the Leaning Tower of Pisa. I'm um, back in the top five. Oh, ah, I think I pressed the wrong button. I think the answer is 20, and I've picked, I've hit 25. I bet you there's two right answers for this as well. I oh, know, they're all different numbers. That's, I think he's going for Fahrenheit to, you know, enabling the Americans with a stupid measurement of temperature. Oh, it's 25, thank God. I would have picked 20, but I accidentally picked 25, and I picked it faster than anyone else. Yay me. Surely. Scurvy's vitamin C. Ricketts is also vitamin C. Night blindness isn't a thing. I don't know. But is a thing. But isn't a thing caused by a lack of vitamins, surely? Or is it carrots? Vitamin carrots. It's got to be anemia. Nope. It's Ricketts. Damn it. I got it wrong quickly. If that counts for anything. <laughs> it's illegal to catch fish in Tennessee using what? Um, I'm going to assume it's either just your hands or a net. It shouldn't be illegal to catch a fish with a giraffe or a lasso, because that's that's quite good. It's a lasso. Oh, damn it! Why would you make that illegal? That's impressive. Oh. Ah, four. This is one grammar question I just don't know the answer to. What is the plural of pizzas? It's got to be pizzas, surely. Or is it pizza? It better not be piso or pizzizi. <laughs> Jack is not happy. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I've got it right. I've got it right really slowly. I went with Paris. London's only done one, I think. Beijing's only been around long enough to do one. So it's either Los Angeles or Paris. I know they've both done one. I don't know. It's not Paris. It's London. Oh, I did not know London had more than one. Brian's first again. Question 16, say what you see. I don't think I'm good at dingbats. I went with, it's far from me. 
Which is true, but I suspect the answer is now at the other end of the country from me. But it doesn't say at. Oh, got that one. Oh, up to second. Bang, Jack. How's that happened? Oh, I'm up to third. I was second on that question. Which team did Evgeny Nabokov not play for? Uh, I have no idea. Is Nabo here? <laughs> The question could have been, which of these is not really an NHL team? And I wouldn't have known any better, any wiser. I was wrong. Oh, I was going to go with the Ducks. Is that the Mighty Ducks? Because they're not real. I don't know. Well done, Freya. Still in the top five. I'm happy with that. Too many options. It's a cryptocorin. Which you can buy at aquariumadventures.co.uk. <laughs> Please buy my stuff. Jack, though. Up to fourth. I'll take it. Dihydrogen. Uh, di H2O. Yeah, water. Surely. This is one of those you have to read the question and go, what? Beer number three. I'm going back for some horde. Yay! First place. Oh, that gets me up to second. Behind Zen. Alright, Mandy, you're going down. One more quiz to go after this, Andrew. You have to hang around for that. I'll give you permission to play as long as you haven't looked at the answers. <laughs> so I think it could be fun. Yeah, I was wrong. I didn't know the answer to that one. Oh, second. Well done, Zen. Congratulations, you won the quiz that has no prizes. Yay! Ah, congratulations. <laughs> what did everyone else get? Let's have a look at the report. I've handed in my uh, <laughs> full membership thing. Oh, you deserved it. You got 13 questions right. I only get 11 right. Me and Frey, 11 gang. Uh, Null got 13 as well, just slowly. That's the thing, isn't it? Brian with 11. Oh, 11 gang. Look at us go. And Big Steve. Well done, everyone. Right, time is getting on. I don't want to crash into someone else's stream. Looking at no Adams. It's fine. I'm fine. Uh, <laughs> I want to do the last final quiz, which is 
the new one. So this is Survivor Series number one. So if I copy that link, stick it in chat. <laughs> It's not about the prizes, it's about the validation. Yeah, you won in your own right. Jack, I refuse to allow you to leave. You must stay and see if you can win this one quiz. Uh, are we on, little ones? Yeah, yeah, let's see if we can get a few of you on this one. This is the one where it's the fiber, so it could take one question, it could take ten questions, and then you're out. But there's a prize here. If you make it through all ten questions, completely unique quiz format, never before seen. If you make it through all ten questions, you win a prize. It's a t-shirt or a month's worth of fish food or something like that. Um, if you get the first question wrong and you're out, you can still play along just for shits and giggles. Um, you can still answer, you just don't get the points, so it's only the person that gets all the way through that will get the win. We'll do this one quite quickly and um, get to the end. Start it then. All right. <laughs> Are we ready to start the countdown? Get in quick. Uh, I've been waffling long enough. Here we go. Remember, 10 questions. Some of them are different. Some of them are organizing things. Some of them are free form text or number fields. Whoa. <laughs> I'm trying to make this sound exciting. Here we go. 20 seconds to go. If everyone wins all 10, you'll give away 40 t-shirts. No, I'll give away 40 months worth of fish food because I've already paid for that. If everyone wins all 10, oh, yeah, it's my fault. Here we go. What band had albums, including Bleach in Utero and Nevermind? So it runs a bit faster this one, so you don't have time to Google it. Most of you thought it was Nirvana. Most of you were right. Well done, everyone. So everyone that's going through is Error 404, Big Steve, Zenny, SGH, Juggler, Gasmus, Shadow, Texas Tom, Andrew, and Mona Lee. So 13 were eliminated on that question. Are we ready for the next one? It's coming up. Be ready to answer. 13, no, 10 survivors, 10 survivors. Jack, I can't believe you went out on that one. Even my son, who's only 17, knows who Nirvana are and what their albums are called. Ready, next question. Here it comes. What martial art is Jean-Claude Van Damme famous for? Is it karate, taekwondo, judo, or kung fu? Oh, it's an even split between karate and taekwondo. It's karate. Oh, we've only got three survivors after two questions. Juggler, Shadow, and Texas Tom. Are we ready for question number three? We haven't even got to any of the weird questions yet. I think this might be the first of the weird questions. Are we ready? Here we go. Add a grand, a gross, and a score. What number do you get? I've given you a little bit of extra time to think about this. Don't use it to Google that answer or ask your computer aided assistant. A grand, a gross, and a score. What number does that give you? A grand is a thousand, a gross is 144. And a score is 20. Oh, we have several answers from lots of people. I can't tell which one of you are still in on this one. 
Um, but the right answer is 1,164. Nobody got it! A grand, a thousand. A gross, 144. 1,144. And a score, 20. So 1,164. So nobody has made it through. So, yeah, you've only got two questions. Why does it say three survivors when you only got two right? Well, we'll continue anyway. What's Jean-Claude Van Damme's nationality? Belgian, American, Dutch, or French? Yeah, of course he's Belgian! I'm not going to show the leaderboards anymore because everyone's out and I don't think it shows it properly. <laughs> Put these world landmarks in height order. Tallest first, so you have to move them around on the screen. What one's tallest? I'll give you a clue. It's not a Statue of Liberty. And it is the Eiffel Tower. Oh, lots of people thought that was the order, but that is the order. Eiffel Tower, London Eye, Leaning Tower of Pisa, and Statue of Liberty. The Eiffel Tower is 330 metres tall. The London Eye is 135 metres tall. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is 55 metres tall. And the Statue of Liberty is 46 metres tall. Who knew? The London Eye, QC, um, is, or it was until very recently, the biggest Ferris wheel in the world. It's a, a big Ferris wheel on the River Thames in London that does what Ferris wheels do. In which movie did Jean-Claude Van Damme play a dual role as twins? Was it Time Cop, Double Impact, Bloodsport or Universal Soldier? Kind of clues in the title on this one. Which 11 of you got? It was Double Impact. Ready for the next one? Question 7. Which of these films does Jean-Claude Van Damme not appear in? It's not a clue, but he auditioned and was given roles in all of them. But in one of them, he was cut out. He was in The Expendables 2 and Kickboxer, but he was not in Predator. Correct, everyone. Big Steve says, is it Van Damme Day or something? It's always Van Damme Day. Arrange these actors from youngest to oldest. Youngest at the top, please. Chris Pratt, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise, Tom Holland. Give you a clue. Tom Holland's the youngest, so he goes at the top. So you've all gone Tom Holland, Chris Pratt, and then Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise. Is that correct? It is. Uh, Brad Pitt is 60, Tom Cruise is 61. What is the highest adult male singing voice? Is it tenor, soprano, alto, or answer option? <laughs> okay, that was meant to say counter alto. It's not counter alto, so that's fine. Uh, uh, oh, wow. You thought it was alto. Three of you thought it was soprano. Three thought tenor. It is tenor. Soprano is the highest female singing voice. And alto is 
the lowest female or a high young male? Place these cities in order of distance from the equator. The shortest distance at the top. So, the one that's closest to the equator goes at the top. The farthest away goes at the bottom. That's such a defeatist attitude, Rebecca. <laughs> I left the quiz, I have no chance. Everyone's already out on this one. Um... So most of you think Tokyo is closest, then New York, then Sydney, then London. The actual answer is Sydney is closest to the equator. Sydney is 2,340 miles away. Tokyo is 2,465 miles away. London uh, is furthest away with 3,558. New York is 2,813. And that was the quiz, everyone. The winning survivors only answered two questions correct before they were out. Skipper was in third place with five correct answers. Juggler also got five correct answers. But unfortunately, not in a row. You need ten. What do you think? So that completely unique quiz, that format that's never been seen before on the whole of Fishtube. Do you like that? I was thinking of doing that as a, an instant prize kind of thing. Where we, I, I might tailor the questions and make them a little bit easier. But you know, if you get through all ten questions, you win a prize. That's the whole idea. Whereas the other quiz is all your points get saved up for the month and then you win a prize. Juggler. Remind me to talk to you afterwards because you won last month and we haven't sent you a prize yet, but we'll see. It might be a while before someone gets all ten. I was just testing the format. Do you like the idea of different moving things around, putting in numbers? I might make them slightly easier questions. But it's an idea. Uh, Tom Holland is younger than you or same age. Tom Holland, I think, is 26. Twenty-seven. Tom Holland is twenty-seven. Chris Pat is like thirty-seven. Uh, Brad Pitt sixty, and Tom Cruise is sixty-one. Soprano is women's. That is indeed. I thought I would get a lot of you of that because of the TV show, The Sopranos. Pardon me. I <laughs> didn't like the maths on the moving answers. I prefer choosing an option. Well, I think it's, it's a little bit different. Uh, it's it's not a bad idea. I'm going to keep trying that. Like you say, I suspect if you join a uh, Aquarium Daily stream tomorrow, you'll no doubt have copied this format completely and have something similar. You might even have bingo or something. Who knows? Boo. But what did you think of my completely unique quiz format? I quite liked it. Any questions for the last minute of the stream before we hand over to Cold Water Aquatics, who are no doubt probably streaming? Let me just double check that. I also had an idea for like a stream marathon. What do you think about that idea? Where I like try and go for 24 hours or something. Um, I had an idea of like passing off to different streams or we sit and watch some other streams as they're going. I found out today that pretty much every day somebody's streaming about fish all the time. So I thought it might be a bit of a fun experiment if I try and do a 24 hour stream where I watch, I do my stream, but then I also sit and watch everyone else's stream and comment on them or join them or be guests on them or that kind of thing just as a bit of a 
a fun idea. But yes, Cold Weather Aquatics has already started. Is this because am I an hour late? What time is it? 11 o'clock. It's not too bad. Uh, Brian has asked me 20 questions. I keep ghosting him. Right. I'm now going to scroll back and look for Brian's questions. I'm ready to make you... That's not a question. That's a... <laughs> that's a threat, Brian. Uh, great minds think alike. That's not to me. Oldest to youngest. Uh, stupid Nirvana. <laughs> uh, none, of, none of these are questions, Brian. <laughs> Lies. Uh, a gross is weight and old money. Yeah, a gross is 12... Oh, what is it? A gross is 12 dozen. Yeah, 12 twelves. So a dozen being 12, a gross is 12 twelves. Yeah, it's a thing. Trust me. Uh, I can't see any of your questions, sorry. Uh, you're out. Hans says, I'm pretty sure the flavor of pizza is dinner. Pizza. Uh, that wasn't my question, that was Juggler's question. And a damn fine question it was too, because I got it right. Right, everyone, go and watch Cold Water Aquatics. Say hello from me. Say, I'm coming from the Aquarium Adventure stream. He's he's sent us over here because he's such a nice guy. And if you don't want to do that, join the Discord server because we can do this. Look. Can we do this? Have I overstretched again? Go on, Graham. You can do it. Where is it? There is it. There it is. The Discord server. Join us on Discord. Ask your questions. Share the pictures. Chat about nonsense. Whatever it is. Um, Aquarium Ventures, as I won a Fluval UVC. Oh, did you? Oh, on Daniel Keeping Fishy stream. What filter should I get? You should get any filter you want because they come with a universal fitting kit. So, yeah, depends. Go, go with whatever you want. There you go, some actual fishy advice and questions and topics. Yeah, they come with a uh, fitting for... I think like 20 mil hose, 30 mil hose and various stuff. So any of the FX series or any of the like 405, 305, oh, it's not 405s anymore, is it? It's little 07s or something. Any of the flu valve filters it'll fit, but it also comes with fittings to fit Eheim and Owasi filters. And I think they also fit on the All Pond Solution filters as well. So pick one that fits your tank and that will probably work with it. Hope that makes sense. Yes, as Simon says, it depends on the tank. So pick the filter for the tank and it will no doubt just fit with it. Um, yeah, so jump into Cold Water Aquatics, say hello, say Graham sent you. If you haven't got anything else to do, go and watch one of my videos for a while. Does it cost money to join this? It does not. None of my things cost money. I mean, I have plenty of options where you can spend money. I have a shop. You can super chat, you can join as a member, but you don't have to. Join the Discord's free. Just jump in, say hello, and join the party, as they say. You can pay if you want. I'm more than happy to take your money. Uh, <laughs> hope that makes sense, everybody. Have a great evening, have a great weekend. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the windy. Bye!